So this is the uh, honey um, super for the humans, and um, this is uh, from the beehive that we have, and this is from almost a year's work of from the bees, and this is our first year, so I think we did pretty good. There's still a lot in the hive, but on this side you see there's honey. You see there's honey coming out of there, and then uh, on the other side, oops, if you look on the other side, they built all this like awesome comb but they never put anything in it it's perfect it's freaking weird it's so weird how perfect that is huh mm -hmm. so they never really put anything into them so it's just a bare hive but that takes a lot of energy for them to make the wax and, and it's pretty cool that we uh, were able to have the honey This is the beehive that we got. We got this. Uh, this is our first year, and um, like what happens? We saw the thing on, the, you know, the news and everything. Like the honeybees are dying, so you know we went to our local area where they do this stuff, and um, we found that you can, you know, make your own hives, and um, so <coughs> this is what we did. And so uh, here you see all the honeybees, and if you look close, they're like going into like the hive right now it should clear up kind of blurry but you can see them going in right now we close down the front because you close on the front for uh, you know winter time and fall time but uh, usually that's open and during the summer it's insane how many there are I probably should have done more videos during the summer and stuff but uh, I don't know it's pretty cool seeing these things and um so yeah, yeah, we gave them some sugar water and stuff, and you know they usually just drink that up, and then it helps them make their honey and uh, wax and feed themselves and everything. And um, so yeah, and sometimes you see uh, little mini wars here because you have bees that are trying to come into the hive and try to steal the food, and so you sometimes see them fighting, and um, you also have grim reaper type bees. And these are the ones that bring either deformed type bees or, um, you know, like just sick bees and they kind of just get rid of them. So they just usually throw them out onto the leaves or fly them away somewhere. And, um, you know, like you give them some sugar water and that helps them. And they also get their pollen and that's for their protein and all that. But now, I mean, this is like November. It's been freezing out for a while, so they wanted to come out again and probably get some more food before they can't get anything anymore. So that's what they're doing. And if we move back, you can't really see it, but there's tons of them just flying in the air right here. Kind of look, you can kind of see them a little. There's a whole like swarm of them, and they're all just flying around. And um, yeah, so I can put my hand in here. And you can't really see it, but you can kind of see like the bees coming in, and then they just see them flying around. And they put them right. See, they don't really do anything. That was pretty cool. I just want to show you guys before winter comes. And I can't show you it. <laughs> so, uh, in here, these are like the main hives where the bees live and towards the top this is usually where the people get their honey and stuff like that and so um down here it's usually where the queen is usually in these it's usually laying eggs and um there's also uh there's all they also put honey in parts of this too so you got egg laying a queen area where the queen lives this gets nursed by nurse bees they call them in there they're like you know all the bees are like the same but they um, they do kind of change like some of um, the ability to help the queen bee and like I said before there's grim we reaper type bees and then you got the regular working bees and um, they go out and they get the sugar and the uh, protein and all that and then you got the drones which is the male bees and they really they really are just around just to, uh, for reproduction and stuff they don't really do anything else and um, they usually the fatter bees, like you'll see a difference. Um, I don't know if I can show you. If you 
look. Like that. Oops. That's a drone. And you usually see by its big eyes. It looks really dopey and goofy looking. And then the 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 female bees, which are the worker bees, they they're like the smaller bee. Oops. You see them? And now uh, right here, we got a fight going on. Actually, it just they just stopped, but there was there was a fight like they were attacking another bee that shouldn't have been there. And uh, I was gonna say, so yeah, they they usually put the honey and the eggs in these two, and then at this line, you, it's called a queen excluder, which is a thin metal piece that has like a bunch of uh, um, pieces of metal across, so that it's big enough for the the worker bees to get through, but not big enough for the queen to get through. And so, you know, they can come up here, and then they put their honey and stuff into these ones, which are like the supers, I think they call them. And, um, and there's the top. So yeah, they're all over the place right now. And so that's the main thing, there's like basically three different types of bees. Like I said, the drones, the worker bees, and the queen. And there's usually only one queen, and that usually lasts for a few years. And then they'll usually get rid of the other one, or the hive might split up, and then uh, either that queen will go, or a new um, hive will kind of form if they can find another place. And that usually happens around like springtime, to like um, to like summertime. And um, they also will flee too if you don't give them a good place to live. Either they don't have enough food, or the structure that they live in isn't good enough for them. And so that can happen too. And they call it like swarming, I guess. And bees will end up flying off but we were, we did pretty good I think because they're insane right now and during the summer it's really crazy so they I think they like it here and um, you know we give them like I said for the sugar water and everything and that makes the wax and the honey and that that's basically it uh, they really aren't that too hard to raise if you wanted to start one sometimes it can be costly to buy the hive and the um, the bees, but they basically do the, all the work, and um, you know, like you don't have to always give them sugar water. You usually just give it towards um, the springtime when they're first starting, so that they can help build the comb. And then usually towards summertime, we usually take it away. But once in a while, we give them like you know a, a thing of sugar water. And so yeah, that's like basically it. But they aren't too hard to raise, really, because they kind of do their own thing. They have all their instincts and they know what to do. Just gotta give them a nice place to live so that they'll stay around and make you food. <laughs> and uh, in the next video I'll show you the honey and stuff. I pulled out one of the hive pieces <clears throat> so that you can um, take a look at what it looks like. And it's really neat how perfect and everything is for nature, but that's how it is. Um, I can show you. See right there, they're fighting. They kinda, it's either, yeah, they don't look like a, a robber bee because it looked pretty healthy so that's what they do they'll grab and they'll just attack and then try to get rid of them and that, that's how that is so let me see if I can find you a drone one more time before I turn this off Shit. so if you look close you see the drone ah damn it see how goofy it looks it's right in the middle there its eyes are like massive and and then you look at compared to the other bees, there's another drone, see how big it is? You see it's dopey looking, like its eyes are just massive and it just it's just huge. So it's bigger than the other bees and the queen bee is like pretty big too, but I can't show you that because it's inside the hive and I'm not disturbing it. But um Yeah, that's basically it. And here you can see them. Uh, it gets blurry. You can see them like eating the sugar water. If you look close. Right, right there. And here you got like a little yellow jacket. Sometimes if they see it, they'll grab at it and try to get rid of it. You can see them just eating. And so they're, they're pretty harmless for the most part. And um, I got stung a few times, but you know, I was, I recovered pretty fast. Just pull this thing out and everything. And um, they're pretty, just pretty interesting things because you got like a whole society. <laughs> and it goes out, finds its own food. You know, keeps itself going and everything, and uh, that's basically it. So yeah, I would say you guys, should, anyone out there watching, you should just go and make your own hive. It's pretty cool. And um, 
you always get honey. Uh, usually for the first year, um, you, you're not really supposed to take any honey out, but considering by how good they did, they did really good, so we're just going to leave them. I mean, I mean, we're just going to take some of the honey. We just took out one little uh, piece of the hive. So, that, yeah, like there's, there's rows of them inside there, and we just took out one of them and left the rest. So they have a bunch for the winter. So, yeah, that's basically it. And I'll save the honeybees.